You are so alarmingly beautiful that it's That's, like it. It's I have kind spent of, so much money on skincare products and battery operated devices because of you. Because oh, of look at my skin. I know it's your great. skin really, is gorgeous. She has amazing yes, skin. So thank you. Have amazing it's really skin. no. And oh my I god. I haven't had sex in a really long time because of a book sex you is not good for the skin. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> what? Don't Wendy I Cummings. have a I have a don't touch my face rule. She's trying to wrap this up and I won't let okay. it. Okay. What, what do you mean? Because <laughs> guys now they want to touch your face. They get wanna, off my face. Never. Get the way my face. You <laughs> almost touched my face, and I, I was going to slap I would not you. have. How dare you? You don't think I know better? How dare you think don't I'm that? Don't touch our faces when you kiss us. Don't hold there's my chin. Oh, I have a lot of acne there, too. Bad. There's a lot of this no. is happening. Guys are, are, are hooking no. in. I, I know. want my face touched. You don't, don't like this? No. I. What is it with guys? I haven't had this done to me. Well, I mean, I think a guy tried. They want to put their dick and slap it on your face. That's oh, amazing. that's fun. It's you up with Nikki Glazer. Andrew Collin is here. Anya Marina is here. And now Whitney Cummings is here. <laughs> hey. Hi, Whitney. How's it Congratulations going? on your special, Can I Touch It? Streaming now on Netflix. Your fourth special, dude. I thought you were going to say you're 40. <laughs> I felt that too. God <laughs> like, damn. Oh my Coming God. in hot. <laughs> she did tell us she was going to say that. Said so much about my I always, I always just lead with everyone's age yeah. when they come in here. I go, that's just a good but jumping off spot. I love for the idea interviews. of accusing someone of something because if I defended myself, I would be the one that sounded crazy. I know. I'd be like, yeah. no, I'm 36. Yes. And everyone would be like, oh, well, she's 40. I mean, you've been defending your age. <laughs> For so, like, people just have always, as long as since I was tw like 15, I was like, no, I'm not 18, I'm 15, like, my whole life. Oh, so you've always looked older to people? Yeah. Because now, but then, at, but now people, I'm like, Benjamin now Button. you're looking I know. younger. <laughs> it's like, this is, a, that's a great life, Whitney. Yeah. Chris Rock said it to me once. He, uh, he, he was like, oh my God, you look so good. So you got those syndication checks? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> like money. He's like, yeah, you yeah. just start looking younger when you, and I don't have that much money. Either, but, but that is true, right? Like, like, well, you can like sleep through the night. Oh. I can like afford Lunesta. <laughs> It's like more that. It I think is, it's just the lack of anxiety. But don't you, th do you not have anxiety though? I mean like, just because you're no, rich and what famous. Do you mean? But you I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> For a 40 year old, she's great. She's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the hormones are starting to level out. No, I definitely have a little bit less anxiety than I used to. I think for me, financial anxiety is one of the worst kinds of anxiety. Yes. And so when you're able to pay your bills, to me, that's like, okay, whew, I can handle anything as totally long as I'm agree. not in debt. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I've talked about you on stage recently a lot because I'm talking about the book that you recommended me uh, over a year and a half ago that has changed many people's lives in this room. I'm dude. engaged. I, and yours included. So I, I say on stage, I go, I, I go, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 35 and I'm single, and so I'm starting to read these books about how to trick men into loving you. <laughs> and the books you ignored, like, in your 20s, and you're like, I'll never need that. No, yeah, no, what? <laughs> My personality will handle this. <laughs> yeah. My natural effervescence. <laughs> Guys love a mess to clean up. <laughs> they just love rescuing someone. It's, I should just stay crazy. Yeah, don't. I would never even think to. I go. Those books are for like girls that just like can't get it together. Yeah. They're mess. I just never thought I would need it. But then I and I say on stage, I go. I ran into Whitney Cummings backstage, and I had been watching her from afar, and she was killing it. And her like she just seemed happier. And then she was engaged. And I remember asking you backstage, I'm like, "What did you do? How did you find a man?" Because I always felt kind of in the same boat as you of yeah. like. Were these We're women who, who go after what they want and they run their own lives mm -hmm. and they've achieved everything that they could dream yeah. of achieving? And we also, I think as part of our job description, we reveal our flaws and we yes. enhance stories where we're the idiot. You know, it's also we have, mm. what I say about like female comics is sometimes we have bad PR, <laughs> you know, because yeah. we just, yeah. we get on stage and we admit all the things that, you know, everyone else is nuts too and has bad dates and makes mistakes and like, yeah. you know, cyber stocks and stuff. We just advertise it, you know? So right. we tend to sometimes attract and vibrate crazy people because of that. Yes. You know? And you told me that you were like, I read a book, dude. I read a book. And you go, the <laughs> title. Is that your impression of me? I read a book. I read a book. <laughs> People ask me to do impressions of you because sometimes on on my Instagram live, I'm like, just tell me people to do impressions of and I can do like two seconds. And I'm just like, 
<laughs> I only just do a face. I'm just like, is that me? <laughs> yeah. It's only flattering. I'm just trying to make my face look like smooth Pretty and beautiful. Good. And just like, yeah, I read a book. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of good. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Read a book. Yeah. I think I'm just ripping off Melissa Vias in yours yeah. impression my, of it's you. It's unbelievable. It's so good. Looking in a mirror. How fun is it that someone impersonates you? It's though? the greatest because Melissa used to open for me on the road before she was on SNL and she would go on stage and do it. She'd put her hair in a ponytail and be like, guys. Oh, that's and so it fun. would kill. I remember and seeing that. I couldn't follow her impression of me. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I was like, you have to stop doing that because I'm bombing when the actual me comes out. So I need you to take it down a notch. I need you to move to New York. Yeah, I need you to just be less talented. Thanks so much. But it turns out she can do it. She can do literally anyone. It's yeah. wild. And you've been on, has she done you on SNL? Was that cool to see? I don't know if I'm famous enough you for that. You But I don't think you, so. But, um, okay, so getting back to the book. You told me about this book called Getting To I Do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've talked about it so much on this show wild. that we just call it The Book. And um, my best friend Anya Marina has read the book. Yes, um, she is deep in it. She has had uh, calls with Dr. Pat Allen, one-on-one uh, -on -one calls. You've talked to Pat Allen. <laughs> what's that? Here's what I'll say about Noah has a boyfriend right now because of the book. She has Whoa. A, She was a single lady that was struggling with it, and she is a she is a, and she ran that book. She stayed the course with the book. It's not easy. And there are a lot of things in this book. Well, first of all, I do have to give credit. It was actually recommended to me by my best friend from college, whose nice. name is Nikki. Oh. Um, and there are some things in this book that I disagree with, but there are some fundamental truths about human nature that you just cannot argue with. And I think that we all, as we, all the things that make us successful in business might be you know, things that are undermining us in our personal relationships. Yeah. I thought like, I'm going to make the reservations. I'm like going to be this like domestic goddess who's going to like do everything and handle everything. And I'm going to get you all these gifts. And I'm going to solve all these problems and I'm going to get you the best aftershave. And I'm da, da, da. And it's just like, I'm causing erectile dysfunction yes. with my behavior. Yes. I had no idea how yeah. unattractive it was. Yeah, I just like, felt my penis go inside my Yeah, mind. totally. Like, nobody like, wants stop to, listing things. Nobody wants to be their girlfriend's intern. It's just yeah. a gross yeah. power dynamic. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to, like, fuck their, like, CEO. It's just not... So, what, do you t how, what did you do? What were the sweeping changes that you made to your life that you think invited your now fiancé in? I mean, look, I also did a tremendous amount of work in therapy with EMT. DR and I'm in a 12 step program and I mean there's a lot of you know I, I don't think I even would have been capable of executing or understanding what was in this book 10 years ago much yes. less be able to apply it and I didn't have self-control or self-awareness or restraint so so much of it was wrapped up with my codependence because I was like in order for someone to love me I have to like be on all the time I have to like give them gifts I have to provide things to them to make me worthy of their time like I had like a fucked up idea of what intimacy was and for me, the hardest thing was to just stop doing everything I was doing mm -hmm. and let someone else make the decisions and make the plans and like being what he call, like she calls in your feminine, I think is yeah. what it's called, Receiving. which is like, don't get wrapped up in masculine and feminine. Those words don't mean anything anymore. I mm -hmm, think it's just right. a matter of who's the giver and who's the receiver and picking. How do you stop? <laughs> how do you how do you not? text them and how did how did you how was the how did you have the restraint and you think because you worked on yourself but I also think I got to a point where is if you're trying to do this with the wrong person it's not going to work yeah that you can't do it doesn't work with malignant narcissists or people who are borderline <laughs> or people who are alcoholics in their addiction or people who are married like it has to be <laughs> I like the last you know one you, you have to be in. engaging with a sane person to begin with and you have to be a sane person to begin with so it's if it's not working either you need to work on yourself or find a new I mean I also read a lot of other stuff the yeah. um Harville Hendricks get, the even more embarrassing name to ask for at the bookstore um Getting the Love You Want right. by Harville Hendricks. I've is heard a that big one. Is great. When you game wear a mustache changer. when you buy that. It's a get what's that? You put on a mustache. Yeah. I think well, no, I remember well. once going to the um store to buy it. This was back when you would like go to Barnes and Noble and ask for a book. And I was like, Can I get this book? It's called Getting the Love You Want. <laughs> and the guy was like, Getting the Love You Want. Is that? And I was like, Oh my God. It's all about how we're magnetically attracted to people who have the negative qualities of our primary caretakers mm. and how we I know. 
Iowa. <laughs> and so because Whoa. it's so comfortable, we basically recreate our childhood circumstances with, you know, whatever. So someone whose approval you have to chase, like if you couldn't get your parents approval, whatever, you'll end up just being in relationships with your mom or your dad until you're able to break the cycle and do the work. So that was really helpful for me also. So I had done a lot of other shit too. Yeah. Uh, Noah even noticed in your special that you had done a book thing. What did you notice, Noah? Oh my um, God. So <laughs> this is very observant. I was like, I didn't even At catch that. At the end, when you're showing um, how the robot came together, <laughs> you were asking your husband, uh, your your fiance, um, what he thinks about the nipples on the wall and which one he thinks <gasps> most resembles oh, yeah, yours. Yeah, the book. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so, so why embedded is that book? into my behavior yeah, now. Yeah, now you're just doing it. I mean, it's a lot of pretending. I have to be, it's a lot fake of like- Fake beta, you got a fake beta. You That's do sometimes, <laughs> like it's just, we're so entitled <laughs> at this point. We're like, I wanna be able to behave however I want and everyone has to just handle it. Like we're such big babies. Like I, it's, I know. And I'm I'm not the relationship takes work person. I know it does, but I don't like just, I think people just throw that out as like a platitude that means nothing. But it's like, I'm not doing any, I'm not like being someone I don't want to be, you know? Like it actually, I think whether I ended up finding the person or not, like I don't want to be the person that's micromanaging all the plans. I don't want to be the person who's just like independent and not asking for any outside feedback. Right. I don't want to be the person that's constantly like being on all the time. You but know? it took a it took a while to get to a place where you're like, oh yeah, I don't want to be doing all this stuff because it, you feel like what you're doing is what you want to be doing until you see a different way. You don't know that it's like actually no, I'm tired of like picking a dinner spot yeah. and calling. Well, the then Uber. you get resentful because it's like you do all this stuff and you and then all of a sudden you're like, well, you never do anything. And it's like, yes. well, when would I have? You did it. When was I? You know, like I think I remember I was in a relationship once with somebody and I was just a master at doing way too, just trying too hard, you know, and like suffocating people by accident. And I'd make the plans and I'd get the Red Sox tickets and I'd get the Rezer concert and we're going to see McJack, like just sort of like. Like, because I didn't think I was enough, so yeah. I was. Over well, you also didn't have much time, right? So you had to make the most of the time. Because I'm forty. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like you're running out of time. Just no, but I'm of... saying you work so much and your nights are always. Oh God, I got so it. you have to make these events because you only have a day every two weeks. So it's like you want to make a Red Sox game. You want to make these events because of I, right or yeah. No? That's a that's a really interesting point. But I also, if I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm just was insecure and yeah. I didn't think that I was interesting enough or good enough for anyone to want to just be with. So I yeah. was like, I'll get these tickets. Yeah. We'll go to this concert. Mm, like wow. you can meet this celebrity. Like I really just did not think mm -hmm. that I was worth anyone being in a relationship yeah. with if I wasn't giving them things or doing things for them. That's how I measured my worth, which is not his fault. That's fucking my problem. That's yeah. not his problem. Yeah. And I was just like like throwing all my shit at people. I relate accident. to that because I don't even like to go on dates with guys if I don't know that I already want to have sex with them. Like I don't even, mm -hmm. I don't want to go on with someone that's like a blind date or like you might like this guy because if I don't like him and I don't want to have sex with him, I feel like... What is he getting out of this? I'm wasting his time. I'm yeah. wasting his money on my coffee. Like I just, yeah. I feel like I'm. I th there must be some insecurity to me that's like you have to blow him or he. You're yeah. you're wasting his life. Which I'm is, like I'm wasting my life. He sucks. Yes, yeah, and and I do think that there is this like. I don't know. I maybe my I got my really lucky with my dude because I was like I'm not having sex with this person for mo like months because there's also a great book called Cupid's Poison Arrow. Mm. Uh, These names suck. <laughs> <laughs> they are so awful. And uh, thank God for Amazon. I know. Oh my God! Can you imagine going into a Borders? Like it's about how. And look, I'm sure. A, I'm sure. I'll see, it's I'll the third time this week. <laughs> I'll see you, motherfuckers, in the comments because yeah. I know people are gonna have a lot of issues with this book it's about how we're kind of only designed to have orgasms in order to procreate and we're not really designed to be having orgasms all the time mm -hmm. and the amount of dopamine and oxytocin that we're releasing as we're you know and so we're kind of designed this is what the book says I'm not a scientist <laughs> calm down about how we're designed um, neurologically our primordial brain is when you have an orgasm nine months later you have a kid and you don't really you know need the guy anymore you know it's yes. and the guy after nine months is like okay I've protected her and now I can go on and procreate. You know, there's a lot of like interesting neurology at play that I don't necessarily 
none of it should be an excuse for bad behavior, but that really helped me to just go, okay, I know my brain. I have an addictive personality. If I have sex with this person too soon, I'm not going to be able to think straight because your prefrontal cortex just like shuts down and you just become an idiot. It's so true. And that's the hard thing to do. I mean, Anya's- That's what I talked to Pat Allen about. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, I if- have more questions about Pat Allen. Can I just play you one quick? Oh, oh my God, Whitney, you're going to love this so much. I'm dying. Me, me going, but wait, I'm going on a date with this guy I'm in love with and we've had sex before, but I want to take it to a relationship level. She goes, then don't fuck him. Just go enjoy lunch with him. And I was like, but I'm crazy about They're him. hunters. And she goes, you you got to, what, what are you saying to me? That you need to have sex? And I was like, I mean, what if we're making out and it's like too hard to not have sex with him? This is her. I don't- if all you want is a dick up your pussy, <laughs> you can get that any day standing on the street. No, I, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, no, that's a 45-year-old First construction all, worker. That's not an 80-year-old woman. Can I just share it one more time? Oh, sorry. This is Isn't not the Pat the Allen I thought I was <laughs> She's <wild>. patronizing. <laughs> She's gnarly. She's <laughs> out of control. Sounds like Rosie O'Donnell. She's, First of all, there's no way that is the author of a relationship <laughs> no, book that, that is, is my religion. She's so mean, dude. I've listened to these calls. She's because really she's like she's broke. so sick. She's just had it. And does, like, well, yes. how old must she be at this point? Eighty-four. Oh <laughs> my god! Art off their feminine. Hey, can you lick my dick? <laughs> Wait, what did she say? She was talking about how men, there are certain men that are in their narcissistic (laughs) vibe Mm -hmm. and they're like in their feminine and it didn't make any sense to me, but she's like, you know, sometimes you'll meet a guy and it's feminine, like, hey, can you lick my dick? I don't know what that means. Oh, lick instead of suck it. Create art off their feminine. Hey, can you lick my dick? I, I get it. I get Never it. had a guy look, ask me that. Well, you lick it. a vagina, you don't lick a dick. So lick a dick no. is, means he's a beta. No, and he, no, 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 You Andrew, don't think? She's it's not just that saying, any. like, can you give okay, me a blowjob? She's senile. Let's yeah. all disagree. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have but bad she... news for all of you. Um, you need to block her. No. I'm big fan of the book, but we have to okay. cut ties with this woman. We need to run the book This her. woman is not well. Um, really? I have given her a lot of my okay. money. I've sent a lot of people this book, but we've got okay. to disengage. I agree with you, and that is, because I've listened to some of these calls, and it's just, she's, she you know, at some remember. point you have yeah. to get, take away their driver's license. That's right. It's like, to protect yeah. them no and their legacy. Call it. But the Red general, light on path. general theology, or the yeah. general the theory you agree with. Well, I want to talk to you guys about the the sex thing because Whitney, was that normal for you to wait to have sex for so long? How long did you wait to have sex? I'm with weird your about fiance? sex. I wait a really long time anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but this guy we met on Raya, the website, oh, wow. the yes. dating app. Yeah, my listeners know it well because I'm on okay, there right good. now, yeah. swiping on DJs, jumping off a of yacht. I mean, <laughs> it's just one man bun after the next. Oh no. It is. The first guy that wasn't wearing a V-neck, I was like, all right. I mean, are you? How are you all photographers? Like, I all don't even understand. It, what, it, but your photo's awful. Phone. How is your photo awful? Yeah. If you're a photographer, that's like, art. Vision, help it's thyself. Just, it's unbelievable. Oh, God. They're drinking in every photo. Like, it's yeah. also all celebrities, which is so amazing because it's like, I know your wife, first of all. Why are you on this app? It's I feel like it's every guy I've been avoiding in LA for the past yes. 15 years, like all in one place. And yes. then like a couple guys in New Zealand. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's some in Paris. Stockholm. And then like, I guess we women can make it work. <laughs> totally. Australia, fine. <laughs> also, the women are, have you ever switched and looked at the women? Um, uh, Don't I, do it if you haven't. I did it yes. once and I was like, I, I think there's some escorts on here. Oh, that's a kind way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some girl. Yeah, I mean, I go, what is the all point models. of me being on here? Yeah. They're all, Vic- there's a Victoria's Secret Angels on there. You're competing against Correct. the entire spread. It's it's the women are models, <laughs> the men are photographers. I'm like, did you guys have such a hard time finding each other <laughs> yeah. for this Go app? On Craigslist. Like, why are we doing this? Yeah. It's like, it's we're just, just the assholes that are people. like, hey. <laughs> and like, it's I like think- farmers only for <laughs> hot people. It's, it's just like, yeah. I, I, my pro 
profile is literally like me with dogs like yeah. in my yeah. bed and then I flipped it to the women and I was like oh my god I must look so crazy and com- like yes. they're just like we stand <laughs> out for what sure what the fuck I get sent resumes <laughs> we have like actual like sleeves on sometimes resumes <laughs> like is she hiking like we're all like just fully covered like such an asshole and I'm trying to think some a lot of comics are on there like a female comic told me about it I got on there and I went on some sketchy dates you did I, it was wild I needed some jokes so I went on a lot of weird dates <laughs> a lot of weird dates um, not proud of any of them and a uh, couple a lot of guys I think that with social uh, not social media whatever this is dating online apps. dating I think that you can move on too fast and a lot of guys are still in relationships and there's a lot of polyamory. Oh, that they're not telling Looking you about. Looking for a third. There's a lot oh, of that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Um, but yeah, but we. But te- you guys met on the app. You chatted a he little bit. He was in New York, though. I was in LA, and we oh. had three months of texting, which I think is really healthy, frankly. I know it sounds. A lot of people are like, I don't want a texting buddy. I don't want a pen pal. It's like, okay, but sex too soon makes your brain crazy right. for me. And then we went on, we hung out like two days every two weeks for like three months. And look, I'm good in small doses. <laughs> That's where I shine. Like I think that was really. I just Aww. like I'm not good in long periods of time because I've just ruined so many things that probably weren't going to work out anyway. Where it's like you meet and then you're like, well, what do you do tomorrow? What do you do the next day? And then you're yes. just like, it's not healthy. Did you organize the plane tickets a lot of times and the travel? Or I you- made sure. Such a good question. I like your brain. Uh, I made you're the sure first that I always said, no, it's definitely the first person who's ever That's said that. That's literally. I didn't even know I had a brain. <laughs> I, did- <laughs> uh, I would make sure it was some kind of work trip that was covered by work, so I wasn't keeping score on money I was spending on the relationship. Ooh, yes. Do you know what I mean? So, so you I buy always, it with your black card. Yes, I was yeah. always like, oh, I have a thing. Okay, I'll see you. And then this thing is covering it. And then the thing that really turned me on about him is I was going on so many shitty Raya dates that were just like duds and a waste of time like you were saying yeah. I was doing a photo shoot for a like a my like book cover and I was like oh I'm just gonna have him like swing by like just like a drive by to just see if he looks like what he looks like whatever and I was like so do you want to just like come by my photo shoot whatever. this is your first meeting this was the first time we were oh and out. you're like and, and you're, you're done you're up but you have a reason you're, you're, yeah. you've just written a book <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> feeling you and, like definitely have read a book because like, you wrote one, one and you read it while you wrote it probably <laughs> barely read my own um um, and he was like, uh, no, thank you, but still love to take you out to dinner afterwards hot. if you're still oh, interested. Hot. Hot. I know. Hot. Hot. I know. Oh my God. I know. No, like, thank that'll you. That'll be a pass for me, um, but love to still take you to dinner. If Tell you're me oh. why that turned you on. Not intro. What? Tell me why that turned you on Because he um, was not having my, he was like, I'm not a drive by at your work i'm not coming to your work oh, and i'm not and also like i'm not impressed by this like he's works advice like he's like i'm not why would i go to a fight like it just didn't even where so many guys were like oh sure like a yeah. network with people and this is you know yeah because i was like and it was a time where i feel like a lot of people were trying to hang out with me because they wanted to like get into comedy oh my which god which is awesome whitney that's what keeps happening to me is hot oh my guys, god tell me hot <laughs> guys are sliding into my dms like guys that i'm like i could never imagine that this guy would ev- uh, he's out of my league you know like because hot guys are new Santa Tell her about the, the because they the think song. the what <laughs> the song what do you mean the guy the, the comic song that he played for you oh. when you're on a date he's like hey you want to hear a song oh, yeah, I'm, leaving. I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm <laughs> leaving if These you guys tell this want to get past at the cellar and they 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 flirt with me so that they can they're you. I for what I never thought I would get you is this a quality <laughs> I know right there's something kind because of like oh like I remember yeah, someone was I like well that you. guy's a star fucker and I was like. <laughs> like you're interested it is flattering the star but they don't want to bang me they just want to get past at this they want to flirt enough that i like they can be seen with me and maybe get in with the comedy world because hot guys think they're funny because we laugh at everything they yeah because they're hot yeah. so they secretly think that they can do stand-up and they want in and I feel like for the first time ever, I'm being used for my position in comedy. And it does feel good. You're Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, you so much, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, that's just so, whenever guys do that with me, I'm like, did I? Like, because I dated a couple guys that then started doing comedy after we were dating. Ooh. This is real. And oh, they no. were not even in, co- like, no what? hint of comedy before. I mean, I definitely laughed at their bad jokes because I thought I had to because I didn't want to intimidate them. And, da, da, da. and um, <laughs> but 
But then I was like, did I make it look so easy? Like, what yeah. about this? I like two hours before my set, I'm like, why do I do this? And afterwards, I'm like, that's not, like, you've only seen me be miserable. Right. And like fly mm-hmm. on Southwest to 40 cities a year. <laughs> like nothing about this is appealing. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think because they just, because they think they can, every guy thinks they're funny. Yeah. And they just think they haven't done it yet and they haven't tried yeah, it yeah, yet. Yeah, I just and need, the, I need my moment. It, and then they do try it and they realize how funny and good it feels if you get one little laugh. Do they have material at all? <laughs> I mean, one guy was The Bachelor. If you haven't started by the age... One of the guys was The Bachelor. Oh, what are you one talking about? Of, oh, these guys that yeah. asked me out. Oh, yeah, he was a past Bachelor contestant. I like batch, I like ex-Bachelors. What is that? Uh, liking narcissists. <laughs> Hot guys. Liking them or being magnetically attracted to them? Um... Ooh, um, I think There's I did like this guy, and I yeah. think that, but at first, magnetically attracted. I mean, I just like a hot guy. I like a hotter guy than I am, and I feel like I deserve it because I work hard to have worked on my personality and my <laughs> career, <laughs> and and uh, and guys that are like gross get mm-hmm. really hot girls because they're rich and famous. That's right. And so I feel like e- I'm not really gross, but I think I should be able to bat out of my league a little bit because I'm rich and famous. Have you dated a hot guy for longer than a year? No, I've dated no one. Uh, uh, no, no. I, yes, I have. I mean, like, no. I've not dated that kind of. <laughs> well, I feel bad saying that. My ex boyfriend was hot, but no, oh, I'm I talking see about. Yes, I'm talking about like, mo- I just, there is this thing. A modelly hot? No. Everyone, every hot person stops being hot after a while. That's I the know. Pr- that's, yeah. the that's the big problem. Point. So there is a thing where you're gonna get this Dolce Gabbana model. Did you hear that accent? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dolce? Yeah. Like, I didn't even that mean German? to really? do I that, know but I guess I'm way. just like so classy. That was. <laughs> I, I think I just stuttered. That was a total accident. I'm not one of those people who are like, hey, Juan, I don't do things like that. Um, but, uh, like, I make a point. I'm like, hi, Juan. Um, <laughs> Juan. <laughs> so, and I'm like, I want to go to Cannes, yeah, France. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. Um, but I, <laughs> there is this thing that happens where, like, t- really gorgeous people after a while, it's just the same Dick and face, and yeah. it's you know what I mean. So it's a good point. I I don't know. This is the first time I've been in a relationship for a while where I am just like the person just has to like crack me up and not take themselves too seriously and not fight with me. I'm so happy for you, and um, just I love I love the person you've become, and I love the comedy you're doing. Your special is so funny, and it's so good, and you're you're always. I mean, this is your I can't believe this is your fourth special. You said that out of the gate. I'm like. Four hours, but it's, so it's, it's so incredible, dude. Have you, if you haven't seen Whitney Cummings' "Can I Touch It," it is different than other comedy specials. Halfway through, something happens that you may have heard about. What did she you has, make of that? I, I loved it because you need. I, I wanted. I, I like doing. I was gonna do a dance for mine, but I just didn't have time to learn one. I was gonna close with like a dance because I was in Dancing with the Stars and got voted off. Oh yeah, so I was like, I like. I, I get love bored that. listening to people talk. I don't, I don't like watching stand up that much, Cut. so I'm looking for other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for funny. a sex robot to be wheeled out on stage. I that was like crazy. Comedy's cha- I think we're getting to a point where it's like, you know, someone was telling me, like, it's hard to get past 10, 15 minutes on specials. Now. You know what I mean? And also yes. there's st- there's comedy everywhere, like yeah. fucking memes and tweets and late night shows. Like, there's so much comedy out there. I feel like specials, we do, you know, have to do something. I Can I just say there was one joke you didn't put in your special, but I just want people to hear it and know it because it was uh, it was... Off of the bit about guys not knowing how to function in the workplace anymore now after the Me Too movement, and it's it's such a great bit that the whole bit you do on your special about they just are they don't know how to the, uh, we all have guy friends that just don't know what what do I say now how do I act and and you, the way you explore it is so f- just smart and fascinating and funny. You used to do a bit where you're like because you I feel like we saw each other a lot when I was working was this one, out. I I'm not even joking. I've told people this countless times I've probably said on the show a bunch of times and attributed it to you but the thing about when they don't know how to compliment they like they're like I'm not even gonna say she has a nice dress now oh my god I did cut that out I love that joke no it's one of my favorite jokes of all time it was um guys were like oh what I can't even tell a woman she has a nice dress Oh yeah, it was just what the fuck do you know about dresses? <laughs> it was like half the time a guy compliments me on a dress, I'm wearing pants. <laughs> you know, guys don't even like what you yeah. don't even know what a dress is. Get the fuck out of here. 
Um, and then, it's so true. And, You've never, no guy has ever known a dress was a dress. It's always ever. like a skirt. It's a skirt. Guys will be like, I like your skirt. I like your blues on. My what? <laughs> what? Like nice bloomers. Like, do you not know the basic words about what we wear? I have no then? idea what you're wearing right Only, now. I, I, no, I really have no idea. I remember one time. Is that a blouse? Is like, that a blouse? This is, this that is, is a blouse. blouse. Okay. All yes, right. Good job. But I remember, okay. like, my, we, my dude recently said something. <laughs> I don't know what God. that is. <laughs> That's what it is. Is that what a blouse is? Look, I'm a, at the end of the day, I'm a 40 year old in the big shirt. <laughs> That's pretty much all I do. I, That's gonna be your next special. <laughs> 40 year old in a big shirt. My fiance the other day, the shit you guys pull out of your ass. My fiance the other day said something. I was like putting on um sunscreen, and he's like, "Oh, like, are you done putting on your base?" And I was like, "My what?" <laughs> My base. He's like, yeah, like your blusher. I was like, wait, oh, where did you God. get these words? He's close. Blusher. He's close. It's so it's funny. And then he said one oh, time, God. oh, do you need to go put your eyebrows on? <laughs> he also asked me if I had had a facelift. <laughs> oh my God. And one time, because I was like, I was like, you know, because we all get like mean comments or whatever. Sure. And I was just getting some like mean comments. Yeah. I was like, why does everyone think I got a facelift? Like, you know, I work so hard to like sleep and take care of myself. And it's like, and learn how to do makeup so that I look better. And everyone thinks I had a facelift. And he was like, well, did you? And I was like, what? Oh my God, that he finally. <laughs> don't you think I would have told you something <laughs> like that? Over that? So I don't care. how's your app search going? Speaking of farts. Or your Raya search. Um, you decided to uh, do something different, right? Yeah, I, I made my age limit. Um, you thought I was telling you that I changed my age. Yeah, I thought you went from your Can age Can you imagine now. if I tried to pass off as 25 on there? That would just be, like, so embarrassing. Um, no, if I... If you weren't... You know, semi-famous, like a athlete comedian. Listen, there are comedians on this app that I know, men, who claim to be 43. You've been 43 for a couple years now. This guy, I mean... Well, he's 42. He's 42 and he lives So what's in, your age limit right now? Um, I think it's 25 to... 45? I mean, I don't know why I'm... I don't want... There, I don't want to date a guy in their 40s. They're all too serious and they like, oh, okay, hell out. 36. Is he famous? From Nashville. Yeah, Jared. Wearing all white. Let's see if he's famous. No, he has 1,100 okay, followers. Okay, what's the number of followers that's going to get you turned on? <laughs> um, I don't need them to be famous. I just wanted to see if he was. He's 36. <laughs> okay, that picture is like a headshot. The thing is, no, he's too small. He's a small man. He's not <laughs> short, but he's just tiny. Not that small. You think? Yeah, he's not that small. And he spends too much time on his hair. That part is very. Oh my God! I mean, look at that. That part is so on purpose. I would have to watch him do that in the morning. It's just like he cares about how he looks way yeah. too much for me. So, Bye. Later sorry. Later, Jared. Later, bitch. Uh, no, 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 no. What's that wrong looks with like, him? He looks like Malcolm Gladwell, but yeah. like without the success. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Um, Sh Shariq. He's cute. Um, he's posing with a child. I never get that. Eh, he's all right. No, he's, th this is not good. Are these all LA? No, this is New York. No, it's everywhere. Raya is everywhere. Scott, um, his hair is beautiful. Long oh, he's a model. Oh, he's been, he's been jumping off of a yacht, great body. Oh, like, takes himself too seriously. I mean, that's, models. I mean, this was curated by like, He's hot though. Like Let's he has see. a team. How many fa how many followers? Um, I bet not a lot. He's just a struggling model. I bet you anything. Forty four hundred. What a loser. Yeah, he's oh, he's I would a never model. Fuck him. Okay, so I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna hard him. Guaranteed, we do not match because he's going after other models. Yep, I knew it. Uh, this guy Levi. He's popping at champagne on a yacht, which I don't drink, so that already. Oh. Gay. I mean, that's a gay man. Yeah, maybe. He's wearing a sun hat. Maybe he's comfortable. It's cocked to the left. Oh, now. it's always oh, doing a joke with a yeah. sun hat with another model girl. Um, no, this guy cares way too much about how he. Oh, he's All a hairstylist too. Okay. Like... Gay. Paul. Paul. No. I mean, try. this isn't gonna work. To Paul, funny. you're in a fleece vest. 
Oh, Paul. I think Again, you another pitcher on fucking. Oh, on what? water. So much water. It's like you live in New I York. I mean, these people all look the same. They are. This they're all wild. the same pictures. They're all the same. He's holding a pictures. factory farm dog. Yeah. Puppy mill dog. Another puppy. Another mill. puppy. Oh, mill. he's cute Maybe there. Maybe he owns a puppy mill. I hate those sunglasses. Oh. Oh boy. Any guy that is like has a lot of outdoorsy pictures, I'm like, I'm going to disappoint you so much. Yeah. Not only in bed, but like outside of the bedroom, like in everywhere. Like you. You'll disappoint me in bed. I'll disappoint you on a creek bed because I'll be like, "Can we go?" Yeah, you you definitely don't like nature. No, I don't want any nature. The idea of you fly fishing makes me laugh so hard. Could you imagine just you in the wild, like, "Oh, you like this guy? Oh, he why do we know him?" So hot. I this thought you were guy. talking about fly fishing, and she just sees Jack, thirty-one, blue eyes. I mean, you don't know who eyes. this is, dude. No, he's like an actor, isn't he? No, he's a comedian actor. He's so freaking okay, hot. Okay, ready? You, know exactly. you want me to hit it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> want me to hit it? Oh, wait, what happened? Wait, whoa. Where did he go? You went back. What did you do? I didn't touch it. I did not touch it. I did not touch it. I feel like you wait, touched it. Wait, wait a second. It. He was, he's coming back. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. he's back. You hit this. Okay, okay. All right, are we going to even look or just hit the there's, heart? There's no way we okay. match. This guy is so hot. And, and this guy is like, he's banged. No, see? Fuck. This guy's cute. He's not perfect. What are you leading with? Let's go over your profile. We should. Oh, he's so cute. Another oh, little puppy. There, Him in a fucking plane. Private jet. Him next to a, a fucking kangaroo. kangaroo. A dog, a dog in playing. front of water. These fucking guys. Okay, like, wait, let's see what he does. Tech growth. He probably saves <laughs> drowning kids or something. Tech growth and strategy. Oh, yeah, what's that mean? <laughs> you mean Let me air it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we didn't match no. again. No, that guy's from Ibiza. <laughs> the Kabili in Ibiza. Ibiza. To show Avicii I was cool. Then I put my picture uh, on architect Ryan and in I look like a fucking Architect fool. in Mexico City, I don't think we're going to work out. Yeah, don't think so. Um, Ray on Raya, get out of here. Look at that, good this teeth. Guy, that's a filter, dude. That's a fucking filter. That guy doesn't look that crystal clear and beautiful. And he's seeing it from this angle. Surfing. Surfing. They always have activities. Ugh. DJ. He's trying to be way younger than he is. It's repulsive. Oh, he did one of these with a sunset. Where you go like that with a heart and a show sunset. Them, show them. Yuck. Ugh. I don't know. I feel like all these guys are the same, dude. I feel like they're all they're all like world travelers. Oh, look at this guy posing with hot women to be like, hey, if you're hot, like yeah. hot girls feel comfortable around me. Like not a bad idea. <laughs> Jason, he looks rich. So rich. He's just. Ugh. 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 Uh, he's tall. Oh, there I am on a glacier. Yeah, These he's on a fucking glacier. people are always on water. What, this guy travels too much. I, I can't have this. I, he wants yeah, to none see of the. World. You need a guy with a normal photo, no filter in a Starbucks, like fucking just drinking a coffee. You're not getting that here. You know where you get that? On Tinder. You just saw a clip from You Up with Nikki Glaser. Check here every Tuesday for a new clip from my radio show, You Up with Nikki Glaser. From our radio show with You Up with Andrew and Nikki. Never. Andrew Collins radio show who happens to have Nikki on sometimes. Okay, we all know that's not true.